number 13. On the 24th of July 1989, around 1500 hours, the lifeless body of a man was found in the Meuse near Liege, near the museum. To this day, the identity of this man is still unknown. The man would have been between 20 and 30 years old at the time. He was of an average build and 185 centimetres tall. He had brown hair. He had a hole in his le left earlobe and also had a tattoo of a maple leaf on his right shoulder. He was wearing blue Levi jeans and a black belt in a Western style. The researchers are asking people who have not heard from an acquaintance or family member since July 1989 and who believe they recognise this man in the robot photo to contact the police. Number 12. On the 19th of April 2006, a lifeless body was recovered from the water of the Meuse in Weiss. The man has not been identified to date. A facial reconstruction and a drawing of this person were made by the scientific police. It concerns a white man of 40 to 45 years old. He had medium length chestnut brown hair. He wore a denim vest, blue jeans and black and red Nike sport shoes. Research shows that the man may have stayed in the north of Belgium for some time. Number 11. On the 4th of September 2007, the lifeless body of a man was found in the water of the Meuse near the bridge at the Monsin Dam in Liege. The body had been in the water for between two and six months. This man has still not yet been identified to this day. A robot drawing and facial reconstruction were made. The man was a white European and 172 centimetres tall. He was approximately 30 years old and was wearing a blue cotton sweater size XL, a pair of blue jeans size 40 and blue sports shoes size 41. He wore a necklace with large flat links around his neck. If you think you recognise this man or know more about this case, please contact investigators. Number 10. On the 1st of April 2008, the body of a man who has not yet been identified was found in the Meuse near the Monsin Dam. A drawing was made of him. You may recognise him. The man is probably of Arab origin. He is of an average build and 176 centimetres tall. He has several tattoos, a drawing on his right shoulder, a yin and yang sign on his left shoulder, the letters TPS or TP5 on the outside of his right arm and a star on his right hand between his thumb and palm. He was wearing a three quarter length denim vest, brown or khaki coloured trousers, a black belt with a large silver ring and boots with light coloured soles. He was also wearing a Muslim prayer bead. Number nine. On Tuesday the 28th of April 2009 at approximately 4.15 p.m. A baby was discovered in the toilets of the family planning centre, the Happy Family, in Rue de Reines. This little black baby girl was between two and four days old and was wrapped in a pink blanket. Shortly before her discovery, a woman was spotted near the family planning centre. This was a black lady who is approximately 175 centimetres tall and had a strong build. She had long black braided hair which was pulled back into a ponytail with multiple coloured elastics. Number 8 On the morning of Wednesday the 13th of May 2009 in the Meuse in Anglia, the lifeless body of an unknown man was found. He has not yet been identified. A post-mortem drawing has been made. The man is white and between 20 and 40 years old. He is of a medium build, has dark coloured eyes and dark chestnut brown wavy hair. He has a dark stubble beard and also a goatee. The man was wearing a navy blue cotton turtleneck sweater from the brand Springfield, a Lee Cooper t-shirt with light and black stripes, a pair of light blue Levi jeans and black kicker trainers. Number 7 on Sunday the 31st of May 2009, the naked body of an unknown woman was found in the Albert Canal in Weiss. The victim is believed to be between 14 and 24 years old. She is athletically built, 162 centimetres tall and weighs approximately 50 kilograms. She has medium length blonde or light brown hair. 
She has pierced ears for earrings. She wore false nails with flower motifs on the ring finger nails. The woman's body showed several stab wounds and was weighted with two weights from the brand Alex. The investigation also showed that the young woman had been living in the Benelo region for several years. However, she spent her childhood in Eastern Europe. These robot photos were taken of two men who were seen on the canal path shortly before the body was found. They may have something to do with the case. They are between 20 and 30 years old and both have slightly wavy hair. Number 6 On Wednesday the 28th of July 2010, the body of an unknown woman was found in the Meuse. Initial findings suggest that it was an act of desperation. The victim has not yet been identified. She is of European origin and between 60 and 80 years old. She is of a normal build and 153 centimetres tall. She has a 10 centimetre scar on the right lower abdomen and only five teeth in the upper denture. She wore a grey short cardigan with black checks, a green t-shirt, a white top, blue or grey three-quarter length pants and mother of pearl leather sandals. She used a dark brown walking stick to walk. She wore a gold wedding ring, a white metal watch, a pendant and a bracelet. Number five. On the 24th of January 2012, the lifeless body of a man was found near the Pont Atlas in Liege. This man, a homeless person, was found under two tarpaulins and a blanket. He has not been identified to date. A robot photo was taken of him. He was thin and 180 centimetres tall. He had unkept teeth and a grey beard. He was wearing a dark sweater. The investigation shows that this was a personalised garment made in a clothing store and was stolen in October 2011 in the nightlife district of Liege. Number four. On the 24th of October 2018, a male skeleton was found in a private forest near exit 5 of the A15 E42 motorway. To date, this person has not yet been identified. The man may have been homeless and may have visited the shops in the commercial area of the Grand Route in Villaine. He was between 60 and 70 years old. He had short brown hair, a beard and a white moustache. He had an incomplete set of teeth. He was wearing a pair of dark coloured slazenger sports trousers, a grey slazenger sweater and a sweater with a hood and zip. He had a red and black sleeping bag of the brand Mountain Bike Experience with him. Number three. On the 29th of August 2019, the partially charred skeleton of a woman was found in the Parc de Conte at the bottom of the panorama in Liege. A portrait of this lady has been made by the robot photo artists of the Federal Police. She was of African descent and is said to be between 35 and 45 years old. She is small in stature and about 160 centimetres tall. She has braided hair and perfect teeth. At the time of discovery, she was wearing a buttoned vest with the logo HCC on it with the two C's interlocking. The buttons may have come from the French Navy. One of the garments had a sleeve with five braided ropes. Do you recognise this woman or do you have more information about this case? If so, please contact investigators. Number two. On Sunday the 23rd of January 2022, a man died in a car accident in St. Hadelin. The man was known by police by the alias of Ben Morad and was 37 years old. He is believed to have been of Syrian nationality. The man also used various pseudonyms, including the name Eunice. The police would like to know his real identity. He is believed to be between 30 and 38 years old and to be of Middle Eastern origin. The man was of average height and thin build. He had short curly black hair, a beard and a moustache. At the time of his death, he was wearing a pair of sports shorts, underpants with the word sportswear and a dark satin jacket. Number one. As part of the judicial investigation, investigators want to identify an important witness. 
On the night of the 17th and 18th of December 2022, this person was present at the beach box party at the Country Hall Liege located in Anglia. The man is between 25 and 30 years old. He is of a thin build, has dark hair and stubble. He was wearing a white sweater and a black jacket without sleeves. This person is asked to contact the police. Thank you.